before actually getting married to someone there are important investigation and tests that you have to conduct to know each other very well okay so today in this topic we are going to talk about the test important test that you have to conduct before getting married to your partner please watch this video hello everyone welcome back to my channel you're watching nurse frances and today we are going to talk about the important tests you have to conduct before getting married to your partner firstly these tests are very 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 necessary and important you have to bear in mind that the results that you get after this test shouldn't determine or shouldn't make you leave someone that you want to get married to you truly desire to get married to, okay but this test should make you know exactly what you are going to face for the rest of your life person you are going to stay with for the rest of your life the conditions and the situations that you will be in for the rest of your life it will make you give informed consent like you know this person has this particular disorder or this particular condition but you truly know and you still choose to be with the person it will help you make informed consent okay so that it won't be something that tomorrow it will be like oh this girl or this guy didn't tell me he was suffering from this okay so you have to make sure you watch this video okay don't skip it at any point the first condition we will look at is knowing your partner's hiv status okay like i said this shouldn't make you leave someone that you want to get married to rather it will help you to get to know the ways to adapt and live with this person even with their condition it will help you know the ways to prevent contacting it or giving it to the partner that is negative and also how to avoid transmitting it to your unborn children all these things are the things that you have to find out and put in place before getting married okay so the next of my list here is the blood group okay you have to know the blood group of your partner especially the female blood group okay because a woman that has a racist negative okay especially emphasis should be laid on the racist factor if a woman has a negative resource factor it can make her to have resource incompatibility and this resource incompatibility may predispose this woman to be having miscarriages and intrauterine death when she eventually gets pregnant so this should make you guys know what is ahead of you if this woman is racist negative and her husband or the person she wants to marry is racist positive okay it may lead her to having racist incompatibility and it may lead to miscarriages it may lead to intrauterine deaths know all these things before going into marriage also it will help you to plan yourselves very well and to know that you have to be getting this anti-d vaccine okay you have to be getting this anti-d vaccine okay after giving birth to each child you know you have to give this vaccine to this woman to prevent her from having racist incompatibility next test and screening you should conduct is the sti screening this sti screening is for you to investigate if any of you have a sexually transmitted infection okay if any of you have any sexually transmitted infection you can start treating it as soon as possible because this sexually transmitted diseases can lead to infertility in the future and we wouldn't want that to happen if you do this sti screenings sti test and you find out that any of you have sexually transmitted infection start treatment as soon as you can to prevent it causing damages to your system then the next screening you have to do is the genotype don't forget to check your genotypes guys there are genotypes that can't be together especially if both of you are carriers if both of you are sickle cell carriers that is your wife to be is AS, you are AS, you shouldn't consider getting married, okay? If both of you are AS, we discourage people who have 
genotype as and as getting married okay you have to to find out your genotype before getting married to your partner there are some conditions that are gotten from the gene that are transferred from the gene okay conditions like albinism conditions like sickle cell anemia and other conditions that can be transferred through the gene if you do this screening if you check your genotypes and stuff like that you have to know exactly what you are getting into and prevent it as earlier as possible the next screening you have to do is fertility test and screening okay you have to know whether your partner is fertile or not this should be both ways okay it shouldn't just be a gender-based stuff it should go both ways the man should do fertility test the woman should do fertility test check your semen check your eggs check your fallopian to do hsg do semen analysis do scans ultrasounds and hormonal profile and many other tests that you have to conduct before getting married infertility is something that a young couple wouldn't want to experience okay it has broken a lot of homes and it is better prevented before getting married if you do this infertility test and you find out that oh one of you can't get pregnant or you will have conditions that will make them not to get pregnant naturally at least it will give you the insight it will give you the knowledge like okay we have to do something else or we have to find solution as soon as we can that is the importance of doing this test and screening before marriage the next important test that you have to conduct is mental health assessment okay that's very important you have to know your partner's mental health status okay because these mental health conditions can also be transferred through the genes can be hereditary it can pass down to your children and if it's something that you can cope with you can prevent it as soon as you can before getting married if it is something that you can cope with you just find measures on the way to manage your partner and things that your partner shouldn't do and stuff like that that will trigger or cause her to start having breakdown and know your partner's mental health status it is very very important before getting married to your partner you should find out if your partner has some chronic medical conditions that he or she is living with all through or will live with all through his or her life okay you have to find out if your partner is diabetic hypertensive epileptic if he or she has cancer and other conditions that they have to live with for the rest of your life this is for you to know because if you don't know you may go into the marriage find that letter and start regretting why you did okay it is best you know before getting married to your partner know if he or she has a chronic condition that they will live with for the rest of their life it will help you know better ways to manage them the food the drinks and the way to cut down on the things the activities they do in their life that will be all for today i really appreciate you guys for watching this video till this very moment and please make sure you hit the subscribe button subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so that when next i post another video you'll be notified see you all in my next video bye